Hi, I'm Alejandro, and I'm going to explain to you how you register your students once you have a teacher account. Um, so you have a teacher account. You have two different ways of getting your students started. One of them is to register your students yourself. So you log into your teacher account. This is the main page. You click on More, and you click on Roster. Uh, in Roster, you're going to see that I have a lot of students already here. And then you click on Add Students. Now, and here you just add them in. You add as many students as you want, uh, although, uh, you know, there's 25, but you can also add more lines. And you need to add a, a last, first name, username, and password. Now, I have actually never done this myself because this is too much work, uh, especially because the usernames need to be unique. So with 3 million users, you end up spending too much time typing this up. So personally, I always have my students register themselves. So if you want to have them register themselves, what I do is I take them to the language lab together and I say, okay, everybody go to sign up and then click on the student tab because you guys are students. And then you're going to fill out your name, your last name, your location. I tell obviously we're in Massachusetts. And then school name, we're all going to select our school together. So we look for my high school right there. Usually for username, to make sure we don't run into errors, I give them a formula username. I give them my last name, dot, and then like, you know, whatever their last name is, something like that. And then as a password, I usually give them all the same password or something like that. So I'm going to register a, a kid right now. I'm going to I'm calling it test student, Massachusetts. We are in Western High School. There's a long list of schools here. This is kind of annoying, and I should do something about that. Um, Western High School, Western Middle School. There you go. And password, I'm going to give the same password. I click Submit. Oh, somebody's already taking that. Yegro, let's just give him last name Long. Last name. Uh, do that. And one more step. So I log in. Uh, uh, Yegro, I hope I remember the, uh, <laughs> the username. And here I log in. Now, we're almost done, but not quite. The student has um, registered, but as you can see, there are no activities here. The reason is because they've registered with the school, but they still need to register with the teacher. So they press on account. Here's the state. Here's the school. Now they select the teacher. These are all the teachers in my high school. I am Senor Alejandro Yegros. They click that. Now the settings have been updated. You can also select the class, although I personally am not big on that. And then if the student goes back to student zone, now they're going to see the activities that I posted, posted for them there. So that's how you get your students started in using Conugemo. So you can either register them yourself or you can have them register themselves, which I recommend.